Eric, just a level of execution on both ends um, defensively to do what you did against an offense like that. And then offensively, to, I think only finish with seven turnovers without Kyle. Yeah. You know, I thought uh, that was one of the most important things, um, you know, is, is really taking control of the possession game, which is not easy, you know, against them, you know, since all-star break, they've been one of the better teams and forcing turnovers. Um, so in their building, we would just wanted, you know, to be organized. We didn't have our quarterback. Um, and Jimmy uh, and Bam, you know, allowed us, uh, you know, to get settled, uh, particularly in that first half. Um, and then, you know, we had to find a different way to win this game. A, a lot of it was our, our defensive um, toughness and, and versatility and, and making it tough, um, which is not easy against this team. They have so many guys that can, you know, shoot from three and also take it off the dribble. Um, but it was really a, you know, a gang rebound effort uh, against their size after we were able to get some stops. And then on the other end, even though it was a little bit uneven with our shooting, we took care of the ball, but a little bit uneven with our shooting, uh, those extra possessions uh, were critical. Um, you know, it was Bam, it was, uh, it was Vic, or PJ, you know, just great at just getting us those extra possessions where, um, you know, we got those relief points and relief opportunities. Um, and then when we really needed to, to, to score, um, we're able to coherently get organized. Eric, what um, PJ Tucker gave you, I know you always talk about winning plays, but it seems like there was an awful lot of them in an awful lot of different ways. Yeah. yeah. How do you define uh, a guy like PJ Tucker? Uh, it's really tough. You know, I sum it up that he's just a, a winner um, because he, he does it on both ends of the court. He has incredible versatility where if you just, put him in a box or look at him in a certain way, you would just think of him as a defender or corner three point shooter. But for us, he does so many more things. Um, you know, those extra possessions offensively, we actually ran offense through him in the post, uh, which allowed us to, to control the tempo a little bit. Um, he played the five for us when Bam uh, got in foul trouble. Um, just really also did a great job settling us, helping us get organized. We had somewhere where we could throw the ball uh, and play, play the game a little bit. Um, and then defensively, you know, he can shift um, and be a chameleon, uh, whether he's at the 3-4, the whether he's at the 5, or if he's guarding, you know, you know one of the guards. And, and then with Vic, it looked like you were into your nine-man rotation, and I don't know if it was out of need, but then... Now you guys are way overthinking this. this there is no nine-man rotation right now. This okay. is a playoff rotation, uh, and particularly with Kyle out. So I have everybody on my mind. And that could be any somebody else. Uh, and I just really admire Vic uh, for his fortitude. Um, you know, I've said this many times. A lot of players would have just written this season off. It's a safer play. Um, and particularly when we've had success and there's an unknown for a player, a veteran player, a proven all-star, uh, sometimes you can just say, you know what? I don't see an opportunity. Uh, I'm going to kick this down the road. Uh, and just try to work on my health, but he's really worked diligently. He's made himself available. He has an amazing attitude uh, of just coming in every day with a positive frame of mind, uh, giving to the team. Um, and you don't love it that it's under these circumstances, but we knew, you know, something hap would happen as it always does with every team in the playoffs. And um, because of that energy that he's giving into this, he was prepared for it. Um, and he gave us some really good two-way minutes uh, tonight. That's what I was going to ask. His statistical line, I don't think, told any of this story. Did, Just your thought about what, about what he did out there overall. You're going to make me pull out my glasses. I, I don't know what you guys are looking at. I really don't. Um, Oh, yeah. So you guys are all just looking at the final number on the box score. That's the problem. Everything always just gets evaluated by how many points you score, how many shots you shoot. He was a plus uh, 28, you know, and and did, did some great things defensively. Um, got us some extra possessions uh, offensively, put the ball on the floor, broke down the defense. Uh, you know, he's, he's a former all-star. Um, that's just made himself vulnerable uh, and available. And he gave us uh, some great, important minutes, inspiring minutes uh, tonight. So you talk about, you spoke about the need to have an edge after the game one victory against this group. And coming into this one, there are things that theoretically would be going against your group. You know, Capella coming back, Lowry out, playing here where they've won 21 out of 24 coming into today. 
it, was it in any way like counterintuitively did that that help your edge and and help the team carry over into today? You know, possibly we have we have uh, some gnarly competitors uh, in our locker room that love big challenges. Um, you know, but I thought we had an edge and an urgency in game three. You know, and that's where you have to tip your hat to Atlanta. They had that as well, and they also out executed us down the stretch, and they deserve that win. Um, so even sometimes when you have that edge. Uh, that's not enough. You also have to play well. Um, and I think that efficiency offensively really, I think we, everybody to a man in the locker room knew that we couldn't have a 15 to 20 turnover game. It just, that was going to ignite this crowd, uh, ignite that team. So we had to be very coherent uh, with our execution without our quarterback. Um, and like I said, Jimmy was, was really pivotal in that. It wasn't just his scoring. We just had a place where the ball could go and settle us on the road. And, um, and we were able to, to really uh, kind of settle in without feeling a bunch of uh, pressure. To that point, Coach, it seemed like tonight you had a much better control of the pace. How beneficial is it to have two players like Kyle and Jimmy, one that can speed the pace up and one that can kind of slow that pace down? Yeah, well, Jimmy can do both. Kyle can do both. Um, and that's part of their, their brilliance. Um, you know, but uh, Jimmy can also morph into, uh, you know, ground and pound three yards in a crowd, uh, cloud of dust, you know, in terms of throw the ball to him and he's going to attack and, and create something. And, uh, but he also can bring some finesse when, when you need it, you know, and he needs to be a shot maker um, when the paint is packed and he just, he's incredibly versatile. Uh, but in these settings on the road, um, you know, I think he's extremely underrated uh, because he's very steady um, under the pressure and that just permeates and, and gives your team, uh, a lot of confidence. Uh, I may also be reading too much into this, but watching Victor before the game, he looked to me to be warming up like a guy who knew he was going to be playing today. Uh, did you say anything, anything to him before the game that he was going to get on the floor? Or? It, it was uh, pretty much understood. I mean, he, he was working with the second unit yesterday in our practice. Um, and uh, you know, going through the walkthrough with detail and all that. I, I've been saying that, though, you know, uh, sure. to our team. Uh, this is a 15-man rotation, uh, and things happen, and you have to be to ready to go. You know, our last uh, home game, that was Caleb. He wasn't playing, uh, and then all of a sudden, boom, he's in. Uh, and the veteran guys understand that. Our staff understands that. Uh, in the playoffs, things happen, um, and you just have to prepare uh, and be ready. Um, and that's what Vic has done marvelously well. Uh, he stayed ready. It's, it, it makes it look a lot easier uh, than it is uh, for a veteran, highly decorated uh, player um, to take the, the um, DNPs and do it with grace and class and just continue to prepare and be ready. And, and that's what he showed tonight, gave us winning minutes. And everybody was really inspired by his journey of this last year. Uh, it's not, it hasn't been fun. It hasn't been easy. Um, but I, I just love his, I love his, I love his spirit. All right, we have Cooper Moorhead, heat.com. Go ahead. Coop, can't you just call me later? <laughs> yes, Bo. Um, you've been pretty open to, to PJ's offensive capabilities this season, but he just told a story on post game with reading karate about how after game three, he wanted to post up a little bit more if they were going to put Trey on him. How did that conversation go from your end? Uh, he yelled at me. Um, I said, all right, that seems like a good idea. Uh, you know, we don't want uh, him just to be resting on the weak side. So, you know, they put him on uh, him in, in the fourth quarter last game, you know, um, and PJ this year has proven to be very uh, effective in the post for us. And that's not only as a score, but he's been able to do that, you know, for us but also as a great passer, facilitator, decision maker uh, in the post. And that's one of the ancillary benefits of having all the, the injuries and COVID stuff in December, January, and February, we had to explore different ways to get a trigger. And he was one of those big ones during those months. And uh, we just kind of went back to that menu, um, you know, tonight. We needed that. We needed that on the road, uh, particularly in that third quarter. And he was great. And then the, the lineups with him at center, they had a slow start to the year, but they've been trending upward sort of as the season went on. What, what do you think has gotten better with those lineups? Which lineup? With PJ I, I get so lost on how many lineups we've had. Uh, PJ at the five? Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, when we had to do that uh, in those months without BAM, I liked it. I, I don't know what the plus minuses were, um, but those were valuable, uh, versatile minutes for us. But most importantly, we just we ended up being able to see uh, something different just in case we needed it. And we're able to access that now uh, based on need uh, in this series. Uh, he's an extremely versatile, high IQ uh, player. You can put him in a lot of different places offensively. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Spo. Anything else? One more in the room, coach. Okay, thanks. We'll see you guys.